So welcome back guys. My name is Moina Gram and in this video we are going to make Wack and Finian. So oh. now edit mode on default cube press ctrl R and left click and right click by cancelling this. Now press 5 on number of cuts and a select mode select one of these edges grab on z axis something like this select these edges also press ctrl b to make bevel now press 7 add array modifier on this axis now press 15 maybe 17 okay apply origin now alt q okay it's looking very nice now shift t on z axis now simple deform band on Z axis okay now shift S cursor to active add an empty axis origin to this empty okay Z axis 90 degree rotate on Y axis about minus 90 degree okay now press minus 360 degree as you can see it's done now before apply anything just copy these things on Y axis <coughs> now apply already applied now go to origin set origin to geometry now shift s cursor to active now shift a add now first rotate on y axis about 90 degrees now shift a add arrows grab on z axis scale shift t on z axis now Repeat the same action I did in this axis Z axis Z axis Y Y X X Now select rotate on Y axis about minus 270 degrees So this one is motor and this one is hinge Y to Y Z to X Okay now go to rigid body panel rigid body active mesh okay rigid body active mesh now one more thing is this one shift a add u sphere rigid body passive with sphere Okay, rigid body constraint hing take a knife tool to sphere and second one is gear. This one is motor first sphere second one is gear angular now let's see it's working now one more thing is select and rotate on y axis about 90 degrees press 3 grab it down grab on y axis grab it up
okay now here uncheck the dynamic okay now select this one go to hing and change it with this same sphere okay so modeling is completed as you can see grab on y axis around here now play it's working angular maximum impulse is 0.1 now see it's moving slowly so basically it's done hope you guys learned something new so goodbye guys